Okay, going into the Super Bowl, NFL up, legend and champion do, Demarcus Ware, Ware hosting the Super Bowl Stud. Bowling Classic presented by Pepsi and Go Bowling. And D. Ware sits down with you now here on 105 Through the Fan Man. Good afternoon. How are you? What is up, fellas? Man, it is, it's so good to chat with you. What's new? What's new right now is yeah. uh, Pepsi and Go Bowling. Yeah. So we got this huge community event tomorrow to, to benefit the NFL Foundation, uh, just trying to be impactful in the community. And I told people, if you can't come here, go to GoBowling.com. There's a lot of things that aren't free. But if you sign up on there, you'll get a free admission to whatever local bowling you can go to. And those benefits are going to – actually, those proceeds are going to go to NFL, the NFL Foundation. So anytime it benefits the community, NFL, good companies, I'm part of that. And that's why I'm here right now. And I'm with a group, a, a great group of guys right now. I How mean, about come that? On now. Let's go. Yes, sir. Come on now. I was going to ask you, okay, Creighton and those guys used to bowl all the time. Oh, yeah. They, yes. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to ask you, because those, those bowling matches, thousands of dollars changing hands – Ooh. And and this thing, I was at a charity event with them, and it starts off all nice and, hey, we're bowling. No, no, no. And then and then it's like the, everybody goes away. Yep. These guys took the lane yep. for the next eight hours yep. and then showed up for work the next day. So we bowled 6 o'clock in the morning before our 8 o'clock meeting. C.J. Anderson is a beast. Yeah. Like, yeah. He can bowl. <laughs> so at 6 o'clock in the morning, you know, in DTC where they had that the bowling, yeah. uh, it's you know a little bit down from the um, facility. What a little movies is that? Yeah. yeah. We bowl. So CJ got me into bowling. So that's why I'm doing this right here. I that's mean, perfect because he's it, built like a bowler. Oh, he, I, yeah, he is. <laughs> and, and he'll tell you that too. <laughs> but yeah, man. So it, it's, it's cool to be part of something like that. All right. Let me ask you how many, uh, you know, everybody has golf clubs. Everybody has their own golf oh, club. They're setting their bag. Yeah. How many bowling balls are you rolling in with? And I bet you your shoe game is better than anybody else's shoe game. I got game. some nice shoes. He does. I, See, I that's what nice I'm saying. Shoes. I got some nice shoes, and I got a, a personal bowling ball, too. They don't know that yet. Okay. I'm, I'm like 190, 200. Get out like, of here. I don't, I'm not, like, bad. No, but no. I told them if you're two years old to 42, you can come and get it. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm not, I, you, can, you, you can get the L, all right? <laughs> My little kids know that. I'm a competitor, are okay? Are you trash talking more at the bowling alley than you are on a football field? Oh, I talk trash anyways. Yeah. It, 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 no matter where I'm at, if it's got anything with competition in them golf clubs, we can get on that later. Yeah. I like the golf, too. Well, but, don't uh, go out with Ter Terrence Newman. He, I, I taught Terrence how to play golf. Yes. And then the next day, we're, we're walking out, and he, we, he, we're playing, and he goes, well, you owe me 180 bucks. I said, wait, we were betting? <laughs> he goes, yeah, we're betting. Hey, you owe me 180 bucks. I gave him two $100 bills. I said, I don't ever want to see your ass again. Yeah, I yeah. go play golf with And I was getting him up there at TPC. Oh, yeah. He, he was playing it, like, it, you know, he was all learning. about competition. Yeah. He will, he will, yeah. All you guys were competitive, yeah. though, man. Oh, yeah. My oh, yeah. gosh. d uh I know you were upset after that Packers loss. We're, we're hurting right now. Cowboys Nation, we are. Uh, how are you feeling? I mean, we're, we're now a little removed from this, but, man, I, I don't know. I don't know where we're going from here. I'm still asleep. That's the way I feel. Like, mm -hmm. you talking about pissed? Like, I was so pissed by the way that they played the game against the Green Bay Packers. It's, it's one of those things where when you won 16 games at home by 30, cool, you go in there and you're confident. But you got to know that when it's playoff time, none of that matters anymore. The teams that are coming in, they're coming in hot, and they're coming in with a, a momentum that you can't just get during the season. The you know, last three or four games, that's when the character of the teams really come together. And they came down to the Dallas Cowboys Stadium and just made a name for themselves. And I'm still, like, feeling that. I'm, 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 I am the ultimate fan. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, you played? No, no, no. I am pissed. I, I was... Uh, there's no words that I can use right now mm -hmm. on the air mm -hmm. that can describe the way that I feel. But some changes are going to have to happen. I mean, we, we play so well during the year. Yeah. That's great. But how are we going to get to the postseason? I'm trying to get into the postseason where I can get me some nice tickets on the sideline. <laughs> yeah. Where I can start getting me some, you know, going tra not traveling to Dallas, travel outside of Dallas right. and represent. Yeah. So, We'd yeah. love to see it. Yeah, uh, Emmett Smith today came out against the coaches and, and said if he was GM, Mike McCarthy would not still be the head coach. Mm. Mm. Tony Romo said this team is too good to get this close and not eventually break through. Mm. Which one of those resonates more with you? Um, both of them. Okay. 
I, I, I'm not going to say that McCarthy won't be there, but I know that there will be some changes somewhere to build some more tenacity of the team. Yes. Because on the defense, the way that the defense played, I don't know if they were there or not. Hmm. The whole game. Offense, they, they kept us in there enough. Yeah. But you can't do that if before if you if you played you know, tremendous you know three or four games before that yeah. teams are maybe scoring maybe ten or fourteen points on you then you're gonna slap twenty seven at halftime that it doesn't it doesn't work that way so I would there will be some major changes which I hope are going to happen this year because the team is too good I felt like this year was our year not like every year is our year you know I felt like this year was our year with everything that we had. You would have beat Green Bay. You probably would have played Detroit, right. which you already know played before. You're going to go play um, San Fran, which you lost 12 and 5, 2, 3 times. So this time you can beat them, yeah. beat Goliath, and then you be in the Super Bowl. I'm going back into some numbers. I started looking at some of this stuff. So uh, hopefully there are some changes that need to be made, and let's not worry about feelings. Yeah. I don't, it, football isn't about feelings and emotions. It's about results. So let's go after that. I, I want to ask one more. And you mentioned don't worry about feelings. With Micah, I know you got a good relationship with Micah. Mm -hmm. Is it fair to want more from him in those postseason games as well? Because I knew what we were getting out of you. Um, when you have a C on your chest, you're the leader of the team. And I don't care what other people, other players think about me because you nominated me to put the C on my chest. So when I say something, it goes. When I am not playing the way I need to be playing, which not gonna be many times, um, I can be checked on that. But I expect a little bit more out of Micah. I do. I expect a little bit more out of Demarcus Lawrence. I expect a lot, of, a lot of, out of the whole defense that didn't play against the Green Bay Packers. Yes, sir. That That is tremendous. Man, we, we, we thank you for your insights and your wisdom on this football team. You're the most popular guy on Radio Row here. We're getting the wrap it up sign. We'd love to keep you up for love five you. hours. Forever. We would. We are definitely going to pick you I don't know about the most popular. You, so well, you are to us. Not, not anybody yes, more popular. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah, yes, thank you, sure. D-Ware. Hey, thank you all for having me on, man. man. Appreciate you. And we're going to send everybody to GoBowling.com for that free round and, and have yes, a great sir. week. And uh, best of luck to you. Always go, a, go bowling. Yes, sir. <laughs>